was accurate. Mm. Because the bulk of the people there are, you know, UDA has got very many MPs from Mount Kenya. And we have some Mount Kenya MPs who can't pronounce the word bursary. They have proven it in parliament. They can't pronounce the word bursary. <laughs> and unfortunately, there was a conversation about housing in parliament. <laughs> and Besuda, oh God, mm. I love the people of Nyanza. They voted for the best. They queued, they looked for the best. They voted the most eloquent, the most intelligent, the most able, the most capable. If this was an Azimio meeting, they would not have been asked whether they understand English. Actually, they would have been responding in very good English. In fact, the words they would have been using would have shocked the president. <laughs> now, you can imagine Ben Suda prosecuting the things she was prosecuting about housing in parliaments, talking of strategy, implementation, matrix, and sustainability. And then you have some Mount Kenya MPs in that bunker that I don't want to mention, because if they can't mention the word bursary, how will they start mentioning sustainability and uh, tomorrow and, and, and words like project management and so on and so forth? So yes, the president could have come and said there is labor export in those other countries. Yes. But whom did we vote for as Mount Kenya? There are specific constituencies, if I mention to you, they are MPs and their ability to even comprehensive, comprehend basic English. It's a problem. So yes, the president was right. Mount Kenya gave him people who were not fit to, some of them, not all, some of them were not even fit to be in, in charge of a dam or a, or a primary school board, but they became members of parliament and they go to parliament and they hardly speak and they hardly say anything. Yes, you're right, Your Excellency, they don't understand English. Yes. Yes, next time Mount Kenya people go back to the ballot and vote people who understand English. Otherwise you'll have a president who has problems talking to these MPs.